What's up, everybody? My name is Joe Brown. This is the Heresy Financial Show. And the Russian Central Bank announced that, number one, they're going to resume their uh, gold purchases. Not only that, they are doing it at a fixed price, which is basically pegging the ruble to gold. Now, I am not saying that this is absolutely big news. I'm saying this has potential to be really big news, especially if they price oil in gold. Ready? Let's dive in. All right, so the Russian Central Bank here announced, you can see on this article from Reuters, that they are going to be paying a fixed price of 5,000 rubles uh, per gram of gold between March 28th and June 30th. So just for one month here, this isn't something they're committing to permanently. And if you look right here, we can see that the current price of gold per gram in US dollars is about $63.40. At the current value of the ruble, 5,000 rubles per gram of gold is only $52. So they're basically putting a floor underneath gold here. This isn't something that is going to be massively beneficial to anybody. The fact that somebody is out there willing to purchase as much gold as possible, as much as they're offering at 5,000 rubles, that's $52 per gram. That is well under what the current price is uh, currently. Now, the reason why this is a big deal, though, is because you're basically pegging your currency to gold at this point. And it's possible, it's not on this article here, but um, it's possible that the uh, reason that they're doing this is because the drop in the value of the ruble has provided them with an opportunity to do this. If they would have tried to peg their currency to gold couple months ago, the value of the ruble was much higher than they could say, you know, hey, you know, it, we're going to peg it to gold at this ratio. But given the fact that the ruble has dropped, I don't know, like 20% or something recently, it's possible that now the ruble is at a price where they say, okay, well, if it goes down, if, uh, if, if we have to, we can buy gold at 52, uh, 5,000 rubles per gram that basically they're saying, hey, we're putting a floor underneath it here. And that's the exchange ratio. That is, that is our, uh, gold peg. Now, what's really big here? Oh, well, first of all, this is the um, translated page from the Russian website CBR.ru. And uh, this is the translated statement here where they're saying from March 28th to June 30th, it'll be 5,000 rubles per one gram. It allows a, a stable supply of gold, uninterrupted operation of the gold mining industry this year. And after this period, the purchase price of gold can be specified, taking into account the emerging, uh, emerging balance of supply and demand in the domestic market. Now we've already known, we already know that uh, earlier, I made a video about this, that they've just announced that they're gonna be um, soon uh, accepting payments for oil and gas in the fiat currency of the buyer, as long as it's a friendly country. They're also going to be accepting payments in gold or Bitcoin, as long as it's a friendly country. Now, if it's not, they're going to be requiring payment in rubles. But with the Russian central bank on its way to basically peg its currency to gold, then you're basically on your way to pricing oil in gold. And this is a tweet from uh, Nate Fisher that he's saying, if they then price the oil to gold, you then have a new exchange rate of US dollars to rubles. You then have a gold backed ruble. And in further explanation, he shows that if the price of gold is, let's say at $1,900, you then buy gold at $1,900 you take delivery, then you use that gold and get $2,500 in oil, which means that the price then has to automatically adjust to somebody who is pegging it at that rate. The price of gold will immediately respond upwards to whatever the Russians set the price of uh, gold at in denominated in oil or vice versa. So this is potentially a very big deal. We already know that they are going to be accepting a, a, a rupee ruble arrangement in payments from India, where we already know that they're accepting other forms of payment from uh, for, with oil and gas from other countries like China. And so this would be the next step. If they're at the point where they have enough gold to fully back their currency now that the currency value has dropped with gold, and then they can price oil in gold and then accept gold for payment or the ruble, which is would be essentially gold for payment for oil. They could literally take this and force the entire world in just a few steps onto a new gold standard, like a new Bretton Woods. Bretton Woods, the entire world 
was uh, backed up by the dollar, which was backed up by gold. And this could be a new de facto gold uh, global reserve currency, making the world, forcing the world to move on to a new gold standard because the rest of the world will need to do this. They will have no choice. Right now they have to get dollars to get oil. Instead, they'll have to get gold to get oil. And many countries around the world have already been spending the last few decades accumulating gold. And so... This could be a giant chess move, a giant, you know, multi-step plan to force the world to get rid of dollars and to get gold instead, forcing the world onto a global gold standard. We'll see. That is pure speculation at this point. It's only going on for a month, and the price that they're offering to buy gold at is under the current price of gold, so it is yet to be seen. I'm just saying, imagining how this could play out, I'm not saying that it will. I'm not predicting that it will uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but if it does, oh, that could be absolutely crazy and could really accelerate a lot of the craziness that we're seeing happening in the world right now and could quite honestly be a big reason why it might actually lead to war as well, unfortunately. So hope it doesn't come to that, but we'll see. I'll let you know if I uh, see any new data coming out on this. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day.